President also up early on Twitter this mm -hmm. morning talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. We go inside that feud right now. Of course, Schwarzenegger now the new host of Celebrity Apprentice. And the president kicked off the latest round of taunting by taunting him for low ratings the National Prayer Breakfast. Schwarzenegger fired right back. Mary Bruce is back with that story. Hey, Mary. Hey, George. Yeah, well, Trump had wished Schwarzenegger all the best in hosting The Apprentice, but now the president is praying for and provoking the new host. It all comes as the president has had to say hasta la vista to his signature show and its top ratings. It's President versus Terminator. You're fired. You're terminated. This morning, President Trump and Arnold Schwarzenegger back at it yeah, after these I'm remarks sure at Thursday's National it. Prayer Breakfast. And they hired a big, big movie star, Arnold Schwarzenegger, to take my place. And we know how that turned out. The ratings went right down the tubes. Trump, who still has an executive producer credit, was introduced by Apprentice creator and friend Mark Burnett. It's been a total disaster, and Mark will never, ever bet against Trump again. And I want to just pray for Arnold, if we can, for those ratings, okay? <laughs> the White House laughed it off. He meant it as a lighthearted moment, and I think if you look at the totality of his remarks, um, and they were absolutely beautiful. But the former California governor responded with a unique proposition and a dig. Hey, Donald, I have a great idea. Why don't we switch jobs? You take over TV because you're such an expert in ratings, and I take over your job, and then people can finally sleep comfortably again. Hmm? The show has been credited and ridiculed for creating the Trump phenomenon. Jimmy Kimmel offering his own theory at last year's Emmys. Who is to blame for Donald Trump, the Donald Trump phenomenon? And I'll tell you who. Mark Burnett, the man who brought us Celebrity Apprentice. They were once friendly, spotted chatting after Trump's first debate. Trump even donating $10,000 to the governor's 2006 political campaign. And Hello, Schwarzenegger first appearing on The Hello. Apprentice in 2007. Nice Welcome to the new season of Celebrity Apprentice. I'm the new boss. But ever since The Terminator became the boss on the reality behemoth. By the way, how will Arnold do on the show, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Will he be as good as Trump? No. Trump's been going after him. In January, just before taking office, Trump tweeting the ratings are in and Arnold Schwarzenegger got swamped or destroyed by comparison to the ratings machine, Donald J. Trump. Schwarzenegger responded by urging him to work for all of the American people as aggressively as you work for your ratings. Now, some have suggested this new feud could just all be for show, but a Schwarzenegger spokesman tells us this is not a publicity stunt, that he was just as surprised by the president's comments as the rest of us were. George? Yeah, I'm not sure what could be gained by that kind of a publicity stunt. Okay, Mary, thanks very much. Let's bring in John Carl for more on this right now. So the White House laughs off the joke at the National Prayer Breakfast, but the president goes right back at it this morning. Yeah, uh, no, no doubt. And, and look, uh, they may be saying it's a joke. I'm not so sure the president was joking. And it's, you know, this, this was a surprise, George. People uh, talking so much about how he could go to the prayer breakfast and talk about ratings and, uh, and attack Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't think it was surprising in the least. He was introduced by Mark Burnett. He's obsessed with this. Of course he was going to make this joke. Thank you very much. And then, and then, fire, and, and then, and then this morning he says, you know, Don, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, a bad governor uh, as well. Now, the, the White House has pretty much given up on trying to do anything about this Twitter, trying to make the best of it. The president clearly going to go out there every single day. But are there any attempts inside the White House to at least try to channel it? Look, I actually, uh, I've spoken to senior White House officials about not just this, but, but the whole phenomenon of Trump going out there and, and going in 10 different directions. This is the chaos theory of government. And they tell me that it is actually working. They like it. They want to flood the zone. They're doing all the initiatives that they're doing in terms of substance. He goes out and does this stuff. And it becomes, it, it exhausts his opponents. It makes it harder for anybody to concentrate on any one given thing he is doing, which uh, could make it hard for him to, to go forward in a positive way, but it makes it harder for the critics to attack. So they're saying it's strategy. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much.